guys welcome back to our youtube channel today my voice is gonna be a little bit lower because i'm just recovering so based on the request from one of our subscribers at the vibe as 7225 today's video is all about waterproof emotion paint production if you want to create a premium quality paint that lasts in humid and rainy condition then this is for you also also i've seen a lot of question about how are paint manufacturers going to survive when it comes to the production of premium paint but a lower um, grade or or how to maximize the chemical to achieve a premium base paint to enable them sell to get profit so this particular waterproof emotion paint it's also going to be a premium emotion water base paint but you can minimize the chemical rightfully in a proportional way to give you a premium 100% quality paint that you can also make profit from it. I have a detailed ebook that will guide you through the full step-by-step -step process, including exact chemical measurement. The first 10 people to comment waterproof in the comment section, we get this formulation for free. After that, the formulation will cost you about $20. So hurry up and drop your comment right now. I remember struggling with making waterproof paint that truly lasted not well. The first few badge failed, peeling off after a few weeks. But after testing different formulation, I discovered the perfect blend because I've done this production myself several times and it has, it has messed up. It didn't turn out well. You understand. So... Before we start, let me explain the meaning of emotion paint. I know a lot of people might not be aware what is an emotion paint. Emotion paint is a water-based paint that contains binder, pigment, additives, and water as the main component. It is widely used for interior and exterior surface due to its ease of application and quickly drying time and durability. And this emotion paint can be used for sealing walls, indoors and outdoors. And also they are affordable and cheap to produce. So now let's look at the types of emotion paint. One, we have metallic emotion paint. It has a shiny metallic finish. Two, we have matte emotion paint, non-reflective smooth finishing. It doesn't shine. Then number three, we have vinyl matte emotion paint. This emotion paint is washable and it has low shine. Then we have vinyl slick emotion paint. This particular emotion paint is glossy, durable, and stain resistant. And the fifth types of emotion paint is acrylic emotion paint, strong, adoration and flexibility and then the sixth is texture emotion paint this particular emotion paint is it has rough decorative fields the seventh is soft shine emotion paint this have a mild gloss but is washable and the eighth is weather sheet emotion paint designed for outdoors use resist in harsh weather condition and also raining weather condition and the ninth we have antifungi emotion paint it prevents mud and made will. And the tent is waterproof emotion paint. That is our today's focus. It prevents water penetration and extended durability. So if you haven't watched my previous video on advanced emotion paint, check out. The link is going to be on the description. I will advise you to also go and watch this um, process. So now let's look at the materials as the chemical use and the function for the water base emotion paint you also know that i like to teach you the functions of chemicals so you'll be able to understand properly if you don't know the functions of these chemicals you might not know how to either reduce the chemical or increase the chemical so our number one chemical is acleric centering copaline this is your pure acleric emotion the main function is that it's a binder 
and it forms the waterproof flame, provide adhesion and flexibility. The second chemical is titanium dioxide. This is a highly opacity in brightness and it's also a UV resistant. Then we, of course, we have the cation carbonate. Cation carbonate enhance coverage, smoothness and cost effective uh, effectiveness. Then we have the tack powder. Tack powder improves water resistance and smooth texture. Then the, off, the next chemical is your caroline clay. Caroline clay increases adhesion, improves flame and strengthen the paint. Now, we also have your silicone emulsion. This adds this adds the um, hydroprobic properties. It prevents water absorption, you understand, from the wall to the paint. And also, we have the dispensers, you understand. It enhances the resistance and waterproofing as well. Then we... Um, this is the, the depressions. It is called the flow polymer depressions, you understand. It, you can have this... Um, chemical available if you're not in my country but in my country you're going to have an alternative for this chemical you're going to see it in your ebook you understand so then we have the dispenser chemical this helps the pigment and fillers to dispense evenly then of course we have the deformer which pre prevents forms and the formulation bubbles formulation during mixing we all know what deformer is then we have uh, biocide and fung acid. In, um, th this is for preventing of against mold and bacteria and fungi. You understand? Then the next chemical is your thickener. You understand? That's to adjust the velocity and consistencies of the paint. Then we have our colicent agent, which helps flame formation at lower temperature and also enhance the sheen of the paint. Then the other chemical is your wetting agent, which are your sulfitarant, you understand? This chemical improves pigment depressions and adhesions. Then the last chemical is water. Yes, because it's a water-based paint. So water is our sovereign and it's a carrier for all complement. So now let's look at the step-by-step -step production process. Number one step, we have, we're going to have about close to um, about five steps, you understand. So the first step is the pre-mixing phase, you understand, whereby you pour in your water into a high-speed mixer. After that, you add your dispensant and mix at 80 to 100. Let's forget about the <laughs> mixing um, preparation because I know a lot of um um you watching this video you're not an um advanced um paint manufacturer you understand and most of us that are also advanced paint manufacturer of course we can do the mixing process without the mix the mixing rate you understand but you're going to see the mixing rate in the ebook then number three is slowly add your titanium dioxide and you mix a lot of people or a lot of paint manufacturer add each chemical without mixing. Even if you're using your mixer machine or you're using your mixing turning stick, please, each time you add any chemical, you have to stir. Don't just add this other chemical and add all this the, the next chemical and you, you, you start stirring. No, please. So you add your titanium dioxide, you stir. After that, you add your calcium carbonate, you stir, then you add your Tack powder, you stir, and of course you add your caroline clay, then you now stir properly for even mixing. Remember, this is white paint production process. You understand for the waterproof um, process. If you if you 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 want to um, get the color mixing immediately after your titanium dioxide, it's advisable you put your the required color that you want to produce you understand for th for those of us that like to put our color at the early stage i advise i usually advise my student it is better if you if you're going to make use of an oxide color that is the first you need to add is your dissolved oxide then you now 
keep your pace to add at the end of the production. It's very, your, your pain is going to be wonderful. So now let's move over to the step two. So the step two is the addition of your additives. You understand? So at this process, you have to reduce your toning, mixing process. Remember I said that in your ebook, you're going to get the required speed for production process because a lot of manufacturers do not know that when you are mixing on a high speed it affects the quality of your paint you understand that sometimes you need to mix on a high speed and then sometimes you need to mix on a low speed be it you're using your high automated mixing machine or you're using your hand mixer or even if you're using your turning stick as well so for the step two you have to reduce the mixture and gradually add your acleric binder slowly as you're adding your stirring then the other chemical you need to add is your deformer you understand so you add your deformer you stir you add your deformer after adding your deformer the next chemical is your colicent agent and then you now stir thoroughly after that you we move over to step three which is the addition of our waterproof enhancement chemical so now you're going to add your silicone Emotion, you understand, which are your dispersal, your flow, polymer, dispersal chemical, and then you stir. You stir for like 10 minutes. You let all this chemical blend very well. You let them blend very, very well. So once they finish blending, you can now dissolve your nitrosol in a separate bowl with water and then add into your mixture and stir very very well vigorously please do not remove your hand in this process then as you're stirring immediately you add your ph adjuster which is your ammonia you understand and then you stir very 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 well after stirring you can now include your biocide you understand there are some other chemicals that are not mentioned here because i don't want the video to be too long you're going to see the proper um mixing process in your ebook like i said the first 10 people to comment what to prove paint in the comment section are going to have this ebook for free after that it's going to be a paid version ebook so now we move over to the last stage which is refletteration and packaging yes a lot of people don't know that you have to flitter your paint in the ebook you're going to see how you're going to flitter this paint properly you understand so you flitter the paint to remove impurity and then you store in airtight con um, containers for longevity and for those of us that will be selling so now you're also going to learn the performance testing which is how to learn this um water resistant it's very easy after you finish this uh, um production of this paint you apply a small portion on the wall and then you apply a drops of water to test if the water beats up the formulation is correct and you've done a fantastic um um production because remember that this particular paint is going to be exposed to high humid you understand so make sure that when you're adding your biocide and your antifungal chemical you add the right proportion of this chemical you understand because of the, 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 the you don't want this paint to have mud growth remember it's a waterproof paint you understand and also you have to test and make sure that the paint adjusts very very well and it is um scrubbable yes on the wall it has to be even if you're using it for exterior which is outside you understand so i have 12 slots open this match for the month of this match for my paint production coaching program if you're serious about starting your own paint brand click in the link in the description to book a free clarity call today yes this clarity call is free once you come into my dm i'm going to give you a proper clarity of how you can start up your own paint production business for free and i hope this video was very 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 useful and also remember to subscribe hit the like button and see you in the next video bye for now